Hi, my name is Lorenzo Hogan II, paramedic and Christian author, and today's video newsletter topic is going to be getting your message out on time. I've got my handy dandy Swiss mechanical watch on today because I find it very appropriate. And timing is everything. Timing is everything. And when you think about it, it really is because you can have the right thing but the wrong time and everything will fall through. There's a right time for everything. Ecclesiastes says there is a season for mourning. There is a season for laughter. You know, there's a season for this. There's a, a season for that. Well, what is that pointing to? That's pointing to time. There's a time for everything. So, I've got a couple of things that I want to share with you today as far as getting your message out on time. I ran a call just the other day where a gentleman died and left behind a note that was sort of, kind of, discernible. And what the note said was, because he had sent a, this is about a 48 year old guy, 48, 49-ish, sent a message to his girlfriend who he was living with she got the message at around 143 she got home and found him dead in the bathroom at five around 530 when she got off apparently he wasn't working i'm not sure if he was unemployed i believe he was um, just kind of hearing the police talk and whatnot when they when they came for the investigation but the note, the text message, uh, in other words, because there was a text message and then there was a note on the dresser. The text message was just garbled, you know, letters. And in between the garbled group of letters, there was a discernible message. And you can pretty much assume what he was trying to say. It said, I of you. So it sounded like, it, or it looked like rather, he was trying to tell his girlfriend that he loved her. So I dove you, I love you, you know, you know those, those darn auto, autocorrect these days, you know, or whatever. When you're dying, you can't be, you, you know, especially when you're dying, you, you can't be held to a, uh, you know, a grammatical standard, you know. As long as it's discernible, and that's and that that was the good part of it. But nonetheless, it was a garbled message, and on the bedroom dresser, the one of the cops on the scene, because they always come on scene on a death, and try to you know investigate whether or not there was foul play. You know, maybe the person was murdered. You know, something of that nature. And he said, yeah, there was another note with like some, what looked like chicken scratch, you know, and, and, and scram, you know, scribble scrabble on the, on the, on the note. And it says, he's like, I, I think it said, I, I think I'm dying, you know, chicken scratch, scribble scrabble. And then I don't know, he wrote, and then some more chicken scratch, scribble scrabble. And then I love you. So, he said, I think I'm dying, I, I don't know, and I love you. It was an eerie call, and as you may imagine, the girlfriend was just, she was torn apart. She was torn apart. And so, you know, we had to do some consoling, we had to do, you know, go through proper procedure as, as normal, obviously. And it was just kind of an awkward situation, very unfortunate. But it got me to thinking, what kind of message, it, what, what kind of message am I conveying to the world? What kind of message are you conveying to the world? And are we conveying what we want to convey? And if so, are we doing it in a timely manner? Because remember, timing is everything. And time, as far as Earth goes, is limited. So, let's think about what Jesus said and what his message was. It was very, very 
succinct, and it was very, very understandable. He said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. Okay? That was his message. And he wanted you to believe in him. Another message for everyday living is, hey guys, love one another. The end. Love one another. Just like you would like, just like you would love yourself. You know, when that verse says, love your neighbor as yourself, it's saying love your neighbor like you love yourself. Give them the same treatment that you would give yourself. And it kind of reminds me, if you've ever been told by your mother or father back in the preschool days or kindergarten days, it's like, okay, little Bobby, you know, treat the other kids nice. Don't hit anybody. Don't use any bad words. It's, it, it's that simple of a message. Love one another. And it, and it kills me to believe that, not even to believe it, it kills me to see that we as grown-ups are still including racism in, in, in the topic of discussion in 2017. That's like, really? People haven't grown up that much? But, anyways, that's besides the point. I want you to kind of think about what kind of message that you're leaving behind. And if so, are you doing it right now? Because sometimes to leave an effective message, it takes time. And then, on top of that, you have to leave it for others to see in time, in a good amount of time, before it's too late, in other words. So, what kind of energy are you emitting? What kind of energy are you radiating to the world? What kind of example are you being? You know? So, I want you to think about that. And I'm doing the same thing. It's this process of self-cultivation that only makes sense because you know, I've, as I've said in my other video, we are finite. We are expiring products, ladies and gentlemen. And you, you kind of have to look, if you're looking at it logically, you kind of have to look at life as a test for the next life. You know, this is just a, a, a crash. This is practice, you know, for the big game. This is a crash course for the, you know, for the real deal. And God's watching us and wanting to know, and he's not going to force you to do anything. I don't want you to think, oh, the eye in the sky is watching you and you must do this or else. I want you to think of it more as life gives us trials and tribulations and can you stand up and maintain your decent character and Decent ethical moral, morals, despite that all of this evilness is going on. That's the measure of true character in my eyes. So what kind of message are you going to leave behind? God says love one another. Jesus says he is the truth, the way, and the life. He wanted you to love one another. Well, you might say, well, well Lorenzo, it's hard out here, man. It's, it's dog eat dog out here. It, it is hard out here. Going to work all the time, you know, taking care of my kids all the time, loving my spouse all the time, loving others all the time. I don't have the time. And on top of that, I gotta make money. Well, I got news for you, Sonny. We all need to get money. We all have to get paid. Cause you know what? If we don't get paid, we're all gonna end up out on the street. So to me, that is the weakness of kind of thinking that it's all about you, or you have issues that are, you know, only in your life. We all have we all have very similar issues. We all have similar obstacles. Okay, but if you're gonna let life dictate your ethics and your characteristics and the message that you're conveying to the world, you know. I don't know what to tell you other than you may need to do some self cultivating. And sometimes that's the hardest to do, is to look within, look at yourself. But, I want to give, give you, extend to you the suggestion of thinking about a legacy that you want to leave, a message 
you know, an overall energy. What do you want to be said about you after you're gone? Will you get your message out in time? I guess my message to you as a paramedic and your uh, fellow advocate would be that life is short. Get your heart in the right place. Get your mind in the right place. There's no reason not to love. There's no reason not to give out positive vibes. There's no reason to give a helping hand to the weaker, you know, to the helpless, to the hungry, you know. And I'm not trying to go all, you know, commercial, you know, feed the feed the third world countries on you or anything like that. But it's it's that serious. It's that serious. And for yourself, for your own family, for your own genealogy and your own your own family tree. You know, what do you want your kids to think of you? Whether you've got them or you've got something that you're planning in the future. What do you want to be said about you? Be thinking about that. Life is short. I know because I run, you know, tons and tons of calls. I see incidents every day. Misfortunes every day. You never know what's going to happen. And I don't want to freak you out because... The last thing I want you to do is be walking around here all paranoid and, you know, oh, this might happen tomorrow, this might happen, you know what I mean? All I'm saying is just be aware that it is very much a possibility. So, I hope that helped and just be thinking about the message that you want to give out, you know? As far as, um, especially uh, as far as messages go, I'm very happy to see that the, the message in my books is getting out. I'm hoping that my videos will be reaching uh, many of you as well. You know, but I know that my books are getting out because I see that I'm getting getting shown love from from Japan. I mean, Japan, Canada. There's been Great Britain, England. Um, I want to say one more because I remember there was five different countries. Um, the U.S., of course. But um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see uh, to see your work getting out into other countries, and um, you know, the gospels being being spread as well as you know the stuff that I'm passionate about, which is helping others and this whole deal with uh, EMS and being a paramedic and everything. So it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I just want to challenge you to get your message out, because we all have got a unique message. If you've got a testimony, don't hold it back. It's going to help somebody else. Um, if you've got a personal experience that can help others, don't keep it to yourself. You know, share. And don't be shy. If you like the, uh, the content, go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Also, like I say, don't be shy. If you've got a testimony, you've got a message, you've got, you know, some two cents that you want to throw in, in, in the mix, make yourself known, you know. If not, just saying, you know, hey, I'm here, you know. My name is this. It doesn't matter. The point is, is don't be shy. Leave some comments below if you've got them. Let's get some discussion going and let's get some inspiration going for the people that come across this video. And, um... With that being said, uh, don't forget to check out my books on Amazon.com. My first one is called The Corridor That Lies Between Greatness and Insanity. It'll teach you how to deal with struggle God's way. And my second one, if you enjoy great stories, is called uh, Paramedic 100 True Tales of a Public Servant. You can find both of those on Amazon.com by typing in my name, Lorenzo Hogan's II, or the book titles. And I will see you on the next time.